Hello and welcome to this video on this blustery autumnal day here in the northwest of England. What better to do on a day like this than some cosy stitching? So that's what this video is going to be all about. I'm actually revisiting a project from many, many years ago, something I haven't worked on for literally years. I was inspired by a lady who came to one of my workshops. She showed me her finished patchwork of the crosses quilt and as soon as I saw it, it really made me feel like getting mine out again. I've had it all squirreled away for years. It was a block of the month kit run by Sew and Quilt. I don't think they're running it at the moment, but they did run the patchwork of the crosses for many years and my kits are all from 2020. I started it late in the year, I remember it was about April time and I thought I need something to cheer myself up because we all know what year 2020 was don't we? So I subscribed to this and I started working on it and it really did bring me so much joy but it's been a long time since I've worked on it and I just thought now's the time to get it back out and get myself organised so I can pick it up and put it down whenever I feel like. The fabrics in the kits are just wonderful. It's a mixture of Liberty, Tarna Lawn and some quilting cottons as well. And I love that Liberty with the horses on. There are some fabrics in here that are hard to find. So it's a real treat to get them back out again and see them. Now, if you're not familiar with the patchwork of the crosses, then it is a patchwork quilt that was made by Lucy Boston. Lucy Boston was a children's author who was actually born near to me where I live. She was born in Southport, but her home is in Cambridge and you can actually go and visit her house and see all of her patchwork coverlets on beds in her house. And I really recommend this book if you're interested in finding out more about her work. She made some incredible quilts and of course the patchwork of the crosses is her most famous. So definitely check out this book. I'll leave a link in the description box if I can find it on Amazon. What was really great about the sewing quilt block of the month was that you got everything included, all of the fabrics and all of the papers. I don't work with papers very often now. I do a lot more with hexiform and I don't actually make big quilts generally but it's just really nice to go back to this, something a little bit different. So I really had left myself with a mess to sort out. It wasn't organised at all and I think the key to long term projects like quilts like this is to have everything really well organised. So it was time to sit down with the pile of mess and sort it all out, get all of the shapes organised, get everything nice and neat in my sewing box so then I would be ready to start afresh with it. I'm using a Fina thread which is made by Wonderfill and it is a 60 weight cotton thread. That's the thread that I've been using mostly throughout this project and I'm trying to colour match to the fabrics as much as possible because that's one thing that I really love about this kit is that it uses fabrics that I probably wouldn't choose but that I still absolutely love. I'm very much in my colour palette of pastels so it's lovely to work with deep reds and blues and things that I just wouldn't normally pick myself and yeah that's why I really love working with 
kits that other people have put together. So today's video has very kindly been sponsored by Serious Readers and on a day like this I absolutely need my Serious Light. It makes the world of difference on a dark dreary day and you can see that here with just how well it lights up my workspace. Serious Lights use something really special called daylight wavelength technology and what that does is replicate the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible and it really does create a light that feels so natural it's really relaxing on the eyes it helps to reduce eye strain and i really can't sew without my serious light particularly in the evenings this cordless tabletop model is just fantastic for working here in the studio because you can charge it up and then it has seven hours of battery life and you can move it to different parts of the room or different parts of your house. So I really love this model and I highly recommend it. I also have the floor standing model at home, which I've used for nearly three years now. Serious lights are also really high quality. They are hand built here in the UK and you just know you're getting a really premium product when you use one. With Christmas coming up, it's definitely worth having a look at the Serious Lights range. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you use my offer code, which is Emma24, it will give you £100 off a high definition light and also free UK delivery. So a huge thank you to Serious Readers for sponsoring today's video. And just like that, we've got blue sky and sunshine again. We, we really are in the UK with this changeable weather at this time of year. But I really enjoyed sewing my block together. I've just started and I've done the central bits of that one. And yeah, it was a real joy to work on. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to batch cut some of the strips into the honeycomb shape that you use for patchwork of the crosses. So I've got my acrylic template and my mini rotary cutter and also my rotating mat. I find this to be really helpful and yeah I'm just trying to cut a couple of shapes at a time just to speed things up a little bit. So working in this way still takes me a really long time because let's face it, I don't do anything quickly, but it can speed the process up a little bit to be cutting, in this case, I'm cutting four at a time. So it does really help to sort of work in batches like this. I'll spend a bit of time just cutting the shapes out and then I will spend some time basting them. And then when I've got one or two blocks ready, then I will move on to the stitching part. I know some people like to baste all of their shapes and have them all ready, but I like to do a mixture and to alternate between basting and sewing. It just gives my hands a break if they're starting to hurt with all of the sewing.
So I really hope that you liked seeing a bit of my Patchwork of the Crosses project and seeing how I'm organising it to hopefully carry on with it. So I managed to stitch these pieces together and it, it did make me realise how much using papers hurts my hands these days. I, I do get a lot of hand fatigue and I don't get that when I use hexiform. And, you know, revisiting these old projects does make you think, doesn't it? And I think I've come to realise about myself that as much as I'd love to make huge quilts and all stitched by hand, that's not really me. I guess I'm more the sort of person who makes the small things these days. Um, and, and of course, I, I do this for my job, so I'm focusing a lot on my patterns and that means that I don't have the time to work on things by other people, but I still want to try and squeeze it in as a hobby as well. So hopefully now I'm organised, I can just pick it up and put it down and do little bits of stitching. And if I just stitch a few shapes together every day, then I'm not going to get too much hand fatigue. So little and often, I think, is the way forward with this one. I also have two other sew and quilt block of the month quilt kits at home one for the lone star quilt and one for the baskets and blossoms which i'm doing by machine so yeah i want to get back to those as well i, I love the fabrics and it's all so inspiring so yeah maybe i'll organize those and show you those one day so thank you so much for watching please leave me a comment or a question if you have any and i really appreciate you being here and taking the time out of your day to watch my videos um, if you are not a subscriber and you'd like to see more things like this then please consider becoming a subscriber to my channel and if you are interested in more videos and things then I do have a Patreon as well. I never mentioned that here but um, yeah if you'd like to see more then do have a look at that and see if that's something you'd like to be part of. So thank you so much again and I'll see you really soon with the next video. Take care, bye bye.